Hi, this is Valerie from Valerie's Photo Channel with a quick tutorial on using Lightroom's History Panel. There's a little bit more to it than you might think. But first, if you want to download my free 66-page Digital Photography Basics eBook, click down here below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, to get all of my tutorials, just click up here on top. Now on to the tutorial. As you may know, the really cool thing about Lightroom is that it's non-destructive editing. So anything you do is reversible, and since all the adjustments you make are merely changes in the instructions to the catalog database, your actual RAW file or JPEG is never touched. The history panel in Lightroom works a bit differently from Photoshop. In Photoshop, it stores the history as a temporary file, and when you close a file and reopen it, the history is gone. But in Lightroom, in the History panel, which is located here in the Develop module, and the History panel is here on the left, you'll always see every adjustment you ever made since the day you imported the image. So you can see everything since I first imported this image. So you can go back in any point in time by finding the state that you want to return to and clicking on it. So for example, um, if I want to go back and let's go back to the camera profile standard, I can go back to that state. And then if I want to go back to my last edit, my last state, then I can just click here up at the top. But I also want to point out something else. So if let's go back down to the camera standard and return to that state. And then let's say I start making some new adjustments from this point. Let's say um, watch carefully over here in the history panel as I move down, uh, adjust the clarity slider. And you'll see that it recorded the clarity slider, but then all of those other adjustments that were above this camera standard um, in the history, they all disappeared, and that's the only time they'll disappear, but they went away because they're no longer relevant because you're taking your editing in a different direction. So if you do this by mistake, then to undo that, just hit Control or Command Z, and then you can go back. Now, you can also use snapshots to go back to a certain point in time. And if you have a long list of history steps and you might be wanting to try out different things with your image, then it's probably a good idea to go ahead and make a snapshot to record your image in a particular state uh, so that you can, you can go back to that using this snapshot panel here. And I do have another tutorial on that. I'll put a link up on the screen so that you can check that out later. So uh, I wanted to show you something else that you can do that's very helpful in the history panel. Sometimes when you're comparing before and after of your image, you don't want to compare your image in its current state with the way it looked when you first imported it. So here's a cool trick. Go into your before and after view here. And I'm, first I'm gonna go back to, let's go back to the top, um, the last um, edit here, the last, current state, and then I'm going to go into the before and after views here. Then go to your history panel and find the state that you want to use uh, for comparison. And let's see, I'm just going to pick this vignette state and I'm going to just hold down my mouse and I'm going to drag it here into the before. And be very careful that you don't release, that you don't just click on it or else you're just going to return to, um, that will just become your current state. So this now becomes the before to compare with the after. And the other way you can do that is to just put, hover your mouse over the state that you want to use as your before, and then right click, and then you can copy the history step. Um, just select this to copy history step settings to before. And you could also create a snapshot from that point. And then also, if you want to clear the history from an image, so I'm just going to get back out of here. If you want to clear the history, wipe all of this out, start all over. One way of doing that is to just go to the top menu click and click on develop and then click on clear history. And if you want to um, clear the history of a bunch of images at the same time, just go down to your film strip. And if you don't see that, just hit um, F6. And then you can select, um, you know, select a group of images and then do the same thing. Just go back to your develop 
up at the top and then click on clear history. Now I also want to point out that since the history is stored as a data file and it doesn't take up a lot of space on your computer and therefore it won't slow it down, there's not a real reason that you need to clear the history, but I just wanted to make you aware that you could do it if you wanted to. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you would hit the like button. And if you want to watch my other Lightroom tutorials, just click up here on top to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.